Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Erin Harris, Cell and Gene's chief editor and your host for today's Cell and Gene Live, brought to you in partnership with Sartorius. And I'm very excited to introduce our expert panelists to you. But before I do, please remember to submit your questions via the Q&A tool for our esteemed panelists, because we will get to them toward the end of our hour together. And for now, I'd like to take a moment to introduce to you Dr. Marat, Kalioglu, CEO of Cartesian Therapeutics, and Walter Straps, PhD, CEO of Carver Biosciences. Marat and Walter, Walter, excuse me, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having us, Aaron. Thank good, you. good. All right, so let's start off with a key challenge to using mRNA-mediated therapeutics. It's extensively across the cell and gene therapy field is how to ensure that these particles reach the targeted cell type while prolonging efficiency and maintaining safety. Uh, in the clinical translation of RMA, R, mRNA, excuse me, therapeutics have been have been made possible through advances in the design of mRNA manufacturing and intracellular delivery methods. However, uh, we know that the broad application of mRNA is still limited by the need for improved delivery systems. And so Walter, I'm gonna start with you and I want you to keep me honest here and make sure that I'm delivering the exact right information. Level set that conversation for us. Let's get an understanding of the delivery challenges. What are today's biggest challenges when it comes to cell specific mRNA delivery? Sure, uh, so the, the challenges are not new challenges with messenger RNA. They are you know, the, the challenges that have existed essentially since anyone tried to do oligonucleotide therapeutics in general, and that is broadly speaking, that the human body, that the immune system has built up multiple ways to prevent oligonucleotides that are not inside a cell from getting inside the cell. You know, essentially um, from the point of view, if I'll anthropomorphize, of the immune system, that any exogenous uh, nucleic acid is probably viral. It's probably harmful to the cells. So what you are trying to do by introducing messenger RNA or you know siRNA or antisense oligos or any other form of, of oligonucleotide is you're trying to overcome those barriers that are in place to protect the in the case of humans the human body from from viral infection. So in, basically, if you take messenger RNA to deliver it, um, you've got to essentially protect it from the things that would destroy it um, mm -hmm. and for the things from the things that would sense it and mount an immune response against it. So sort of going from the outside in, you've got to deal with the nucleases that exist in serum, um, that essentially if you just introduce naked oligonucleotide, naked messenger RNA, um, it would be almost instantaneously destroyed um, by the nucleases in the, in, in, in the blood. Um, if you encapsulate it, and we'll get into this in, in more detail, I'm sure, in a lipid nanoparticle or other form of particle to protect it from that, you still then, it still needs to get to the cell that it needs to get to. And once it gets to that cell, it needs to be internalized by that cell, by various, whatever mechanism it is. Again, if you take the case of a lipid nanoparticle, it goes through the endosome and the lysosomal system, but there are nucleases in there as well that are targeted to destroy it. Um, if you can get it past that, that, that point, there are in detection uh, systems like the toll-like receptor system that is designed, again, to detect exogenous RNA um, and to mount a response, whether that's destruction or you know, bringing other things in to destroy it. Um, and then even if you can get it out of the endolysosome and into the cytoplasm of the cell, again, there are things in there, um, the rig eye system, for example, that detect it and, again, mount a response to it. 